<laughs> with the cars. Someone called the fire department. Oh, oh it's gone. Huge. Oh, it's because it's, it's an electric, electric. vehicle. Oh, Let's it's go. An EV. They don't catch fire. <laughs> Yeah, no. I've never heard of an electric vehicle catching fire and staying on fire for four days because it's got lithium-ion batteries in it. That doesn't totally happen. That doesn't it happen literally ever. doesn't. This is no, the future. Never, it never happens. And also, by it's the way, right here. electric vehicles are environmentally friendly. We only have to mine cobalt out of the ground and burn a bunch of diesel to operate the heavy machinery that takes all the uh, cobalt out of the ground for the batteries and the lithium, too. But anyways, EVs, environmentally friendly. <laughs> you... you <laughs> Howdy boys, it's MVC and today we're back for another customization yet again with Twingo and Harm None. In this video, we're gonna be customizing the all new Ocelot Virtue that you guys can get for free by completing the all new Last of Us missions that were just released. But if you're a GTA Plus member, you can just get it on Legendary. Unfortunately, none of us are, so that means we only have one copy of this vehicle. So we're gonna bend the rules a little bit and say that the loser has to remove all of their customization options and they can't throw that back on for the lifespan of their car as opposed to selling it. Before we dive into things, we have to go over the results of last customization battle. Mr. Twingo, if you would uh, enlighten us. Yes, sir. We got myself, Twingo, and third place with 95 votes. Second place goes to NPC with 210, and Harm None wins with 213. This Very is close. absolutely incredible. This is a rant. They you spilled know juice on his car. You know what? Um, the, the purple Camaro got enough hate in the comments, so I'm going to direct mine towards NPC. Ah! What? <laughs> I lost for three votes. This is rigged. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. And the Camaro I'm... appreciates that. Oh, the Camaro, I feel bad. I, the I'm Camaro so can appreciate it for uh, for a good, you know, 10 seconds more before we watch you yeah, sell it here. the light hitting it. That's so sick. It is. It is a very nice car. It is a nice color oh, scheme. Well. <sighs> Goodbye. Off to the graveyard. Goodbye, Twingo's Camaro. Goodbye, Twingo's Camaro. 1.3 million compensation oh. isn't too bad for, though. That's not bad. That'll pay for this week's upgrades. Good. What? What? Dude. What? Aaron, Aaron literally disappeared from my screen. He was gone. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can't go chucking stones, buddy. Come what? On. You lost, GTA NPC. You came second place. <laughs> no, this you is know, rigged. What was it that you said to me in the last one? What, what did you say? Second is the first loser? Isn't that what you said? <laughs> this I, is rigged. You're a bigger YouTuber. <laughs> this is rigged. <laughs> did they, have you seen the votes on your videos versus mine? Mine are like all pretty even, and then on your guys, it's like I lose. Infinitely, like undoubtedly, yeah. I get defeated. Yeah. It's like, it's, it'll be like 29 votes for NPC and four for Harm None. That's how it should and be I, in your videos too. Not for you though, for us. Do you want to get shot again? <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay, thanks. All right, take that money that you dropped, thank you. Well, I guess uh, I guess it's time to time to go ahead and get started. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Definitely whoa. is, I'm going first. Oh, this thing has an active spoiler? Yeah, you have to, well, you no have to. No spoiler, oh yeah. Oh, that's sick. Pretty cool. Though. That's pretty neat, that's actually. That's sick. Yeah, that Can we go to the cool. agency? Oh yeah, we have to oh, go to the agency facts. because uh, this is a money tech vehicle. This vehicle's so fast, dude. It's unbelievable. Yeah, it's it's insanely quick. I feel like I'm cheating when I accelerate. Yeah, I know. It's like it's like it's insane. <laughs> it's it's like actually not. Fair. Like the car just it doesn't even it doesn't stick to the ground anymore. No, no. All right, boys. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Ah! Here we go. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. I'll uh, talk to you in a minute. Sounds good. All right, we're gonna dive right into the customization here. First up, we have aerials. We can throw on street cannons, primary fins. I'm not a big fan of the fins at the bottom, if I'm gonna be honest, but I do like the cannons because the ocelot is, well, you guys know what ocelots are. They're like cats, right? And so uh, the cannons are gonna act as the whiskers. For the armor, we're gonna max that out. Armor plating, I think, of course, this is a style competition, so we're gonna leave that off. That can disrupt deliveries, and it just doesn't look that good. For brakes, they're gonna max that out. For the bumpers, primary splitter, we have a bigger version of that. I think they both look pretty good. And then we have some with uh, the bar attachments and like big fins. I'm not really a fan of any of those, to be honest. Um, I think I'm not really a fan of this fin, although I do like the splitter size, so I think we're gonna go one step up. 
maybe with the uh, the street splitter. I think going with the, the secondary street splitter would look pretty good. Mm, I think it would look pretty cool with just the regular one as well though. We'll come back and play around with that later. I'm gonna set it to the secondary splitter for now, just the regular one, so that I don't forget. For the rear bumper, we can go with different various trims i'm thinking i think if we go with the secondary trim that would probably look the best definitely not the gt one that's way too aggressive for the engine we're gonna max that out for the canards on the front end um we've got a bunch of different shapes here as well i think i'm just gonna go with the street splitter canards because those are parallel they look similar to the back and uh, again act as like whiskers almost for the imani tech we'll throw on the missile lock on jammer because that one is uh, always pretty useful against oppressors for the lights, we will zen on those. Mm, I'm not too sure about a neon kit quite yet. We'll come back to that. For the livery, we'll come back to that as well after the respray. For our mirrors, I do quite like all of the mirror options. I think either like secondary or carbon would look pretty good. Maybe we'll just go with carbon for now to match uh, the rest of the carbon accenting. For a plate, we're gonna go yellow on black. Proxy mines, we're gonna throw on slicks and then onto our respray. I was thinking we should do something that's either ocelot colored, like maybe a, you know, a yellow or like an orange. I think it would fit quite nicely. Orange does look good. But I was thinking we could also go with something a little more like, it's almost a little more cat-like, that being brown. I think the browns all look really good. In my actual customization of this, separate from the battle, I wanted to go for a brown and I didn't end up pulling that out because uh, I wasn't confident in the color scheme, but it did receive a few amount of likes. So I'm thinking we should try that out here. I'm thinking we could either go with the, um, I like the straw brown quite a bit on this vehicle actually, or saddle brown, one of the two. I think I'm leaning towards straw brown a little bit more. The pearlescent looks pretty nice as it is which is a bleached brown, so I think we should just leave it. We can play around with that a little bit more once we get the secondary color rolling to ensure that they fit and everything. The secondary color, I'm thinking matte black is not a bad choice at all. We could also go with something that like two tones it a little bit. Cream is not too bad, it's a little bright though. Maybe we should go with something darker. Straw brown, that's the primary color. If we did a, uh, I think the saddle brown looks crazy on it actually. I think it looks really good. I want something that'll mesh with the car really well. The bison brown, once again, does not fail to impress. But I think we need some shade of brown that's like a little more, it's a little closer to what we currently have. I almost feel like the lighter, the better. Let's try a bleached brown for now, and then we can, uh, we'll come back to it if we need to. For the trim color, we'll probably match that somewhat as well. I wanna offset it like a little bit. Maybe we can make it a little darker in the interior. No, it definitely looks better brighter. I think bleached brown is good for this as well. For a roof, we can do small racing scoop, sports racing scoop, and then I'm not a fan of those last two options. I'm kind of thinking the, um, I'm liking the small racing scoop. I like the detail that it provides. It looks, it just looks good. I don't know how to explain it. I like that it's a, uh, I guess it's tilted back so it lets the front of the car open up more. For our skirts, um, I'm not a fan of the no fin one actually, which is a little weird because I, I'm never a fan of those. <laughs> I actually quite like the secondary racing skirt with uh, the big fin. I don't know why that uh, looks really good. The street one looks super good as well though is the only thing because it boxes in each wheel. You know what, I do like the progression and height so we're gonna go with the secondary racing skirt. For our spoiler, I know there's an active spoiler on this but I do think the car would look good if we were to throw on another spoiler. I'm personally a fan of the big wings. I just think they're built on really nicely. Um, and then would that get rid of the active spoiler? That's something we're gonna have to test out, I feel like, whether or not it disrupts the active spoiler. But uh, ugh, let's see, we could either go with the primary one, secondary one, or a carbon one for the big spoiler. I feel like the carbon wing just looks the best since we have some carbon accenting. The rest of these just don't quite vibe with the car the way I would like. The secondary one definitely doesn't. The primary one, I am debating right now. Yeah, I think it looks better carbon. I think it looks really aggressive and uh, highlights the whiskers and everything. For our sun strip, we can throw on, do we want to throw one on? Would that disrupt the look of the vehicle? I do like the sun strip and I think I'm going to go with the power metal one because um, that little red accent matches the brake calipers and we're going to do that in black because uh, it matches the rest of the black accenting. For suspension, we're gonna lower that. It doesn't get lowered all that much, which is okay. For our trunk, I'm going to leave it stock because it looks like rhinoceros plating. Like if you guys know what I mean, how like rhinos have like, I don't know if rhinos actually have head armor, but like they definitely have horns in the front and I, I don't really like the emphasis. I think it makes it look too sturdy when it should look a little more feline because it's a 
cat vehicle. It's an ocelot. And then onto her wheels. Hype fives definitely don't look bad. They don't clip into the brake caliper as well. Mercy concaves look absolutely beautiful. Segoys, I do really like the look of Segoys on this one. I just need to see if they uh, dip into the brake caliper. It doesn't look like they do. I'm doing a very careful inspection. My conclusion is that they do not. We're gonna check out the track rims really quick though, because uh, I do think that there could be some hidden gems over here. I think the Super Luxes look really nice. I don't know, is it McLaren-esque? I like the way Segoy's look, so I think uh, we're just gonna go with that one. And then as for a color, we could black those out or we could make them white. I think the white looks pretty good. It's very, it's a very like innocent color scheme. I think black is too aggressive almost. Let's check out some of the browns. Maybe we could find something that suits the vehicle a little better. Ooh, that looks really good. Dark brown. Okay, let's compare that to ice white because I think or frost white, I guess I should say. Let's compare that to white, because I want to see which one looks better. I don't think black is the way to go for this vehicle, even if we do a lighter shade. I'm just not feeling it. So white and dark brown. They both just look really good is the thing. I think it looks better in white. I feel like the vehicle gets opened up more. So there we go, frost white segoys. For tires, we're going to bulletproof those. I'm not going to throw on any designs. And then for smoke, we're going to leave that one white as well since the car is very light in color and then lastly for our windows i think we can darken it a little bit we'll do a um, not a limo tint but a dark smoke or a light smoke is the question i think a light smoke is good it kind of adds a little bit of um it's like the bridge between all of our black accents and our light accents all over the vehicle oh my god that looks so good there were a couple things we needed to revisit first is the front bumper did we like the bigger one or do we like the smaller one i think with a bigger wing we should go with a bigger splitter so we're gonna go ahead and do that i think our rear bumper still looks good in the secondary trim do we want to throw on a neon kit let's see i feel like whether or not we have one it's gonna be fine maybe we'll uh, leave it off since the car is already so bright for a livery do we want to throw on a livery let's see i'm not really feeling any of these liveries to be honest if anything the black diagonal racing stripes but i still just don't think it uh meshes quite too well with the vehicle i think it looks nice as it is for our mirrors do we want to go with like secondary mirrors i don't think that looks too bad it almost brightens up the vehicle a little bit i like it i like it let's do secondary mirrors and then for a respray let's uh mess with the pearlescent one more time is there any other shade that would look better on this vehicle. I think Rockstar got this color down with the bleach brown pearlescent because cream is a little too bright. Sandy brown is a little too dark. Straw brown looks good as well. I actually really like the shade of that. That's very tame. You know what? Let's go with that. Never mind. I think I do like the bleach brown because it brings more focus to the front of the car and I want the focus to be on the primary color still even though the secondary color is so bright. I feel like that would get a little mixed up if we did the straw brown and uh that's the build i think so uh let's let's pull out hello npc how how am i on time oh aren't you <laughs> yeah you just got here i'm no actually way. thinking of a quick change for mine oh yeah just, i just want to see it like another option pulling out right now oh Ooh. okay oh ah uh, the crew color Ooh, a crew color is that a crew color this is not a crew color it's not oh not a crew color not a crew color hashtag not a crew color I'm just really just about to go in and, uh, and change something about my Ooh. car, but I, uh, I, I think I think now it's it's decided. Mm, right, I'm coming I out think out. I see what you would change. Oh, is there something that you would change, Aaron? On your vehicle, yes. Oh, interesting. Interesting lineup. Yeah, this is. Yeah, uh, this is. Like, oh, that's pretty close to your original one. Who? Years. Kind of. I definitely took some inspiration from that one because I changed up the build last second for my original customization. So I wanted to take some inspo because people said they liked it. Wait, kid. Mm. All um, right. Before well, we go over the vehicles, uh -huh, it's observatory it's time. time. Yes, sir. All right. All right. Cool lineup we have here. Yeah, this is uh, this is interesting. Very cool. Very cool. I already developing some questions but uh we can get to those when we get to those i guess okay. uh i'll yeah, start yeah. us off then since, yeah, since you, i'm you first go, you go first all right sir. all right okay so initially for my original customization i was going to go for like a a darker brown on this with another brown to offset as the secondary color but then i got i don't know i guess i like i wouldn't say i doubted myself but i was just i couldn't get the colors to mesh well enough so i changed to a cream and that was like the customization I had before this customization battle. So taking inspiration from that, I kind of just changed up the shades of brown. We have a, I believe this is a sandy brown primary color with a bleach brown pearlescent and then a bleach brown secondary color and interior as well. 
um, kind of gives it. I, I wanted to go for like an ocelot theme because it. The, I think the car looks very cat-like. That's what I tried to. Oops. Oh. I tried to uh, establish that in like the canards. The canards are like the whiskers almost. Um, oh. And then um, ocelots are like they're they're brown like this, you know. So. Um, yeah. Sorry, what? Ocelots are like sandy colored and then for the skirts I went with these like the ones that stick out on either side because those are like I guess I imagine them as like fangs like little teeth um, And then these skirts I wanted to uh, to to have some progression in the incline So I have um, the bigger fin skirts for the rear I have a secondary trim and then for the spoiler I wanted to go with the big wing that was carbon because the primary and the secondary one did not look good I thought this one made the car look a little more menacing which is like what ocelots should be. I just wanted to capture the essence of an ocelot in this vehicle because I think like it just has that feel, you know, even when you're driving it, it takes off super quickly. And I think ocelots have like good acceleration when they're like hunting and stuff, but they probably don't run all that fast. So okay, that's, that's the build. Oh, and then mm -hmm. the rims lastly are white segoys. White segoys. Because uh, I don't know, I think cats and like cute are words that go together mm. and segoy is like they're like cute rims kawaii <laughs> yeah oh and the very last thing so that i don't get roasted about it later i threw in a black sun strip to kind of like enhance the uh black accenting on the vehicles and i went with the power metal one because this one has a like a little red icon and i thought that matched with the brake calibers and just looked nice in general with very inoffensive text because the other ones in my opinion stood out a little too much for my build too offensive for you yeah Anyway, okay, yeah, that's my build. Okay, nice. wicked, wicked. All right, all right, Twingo. All right, on to me. I didn't really have anything I really wanted to go for. This Bugatti. was a very last minute build, actually. I chose the red kind of in the middle, but then I changed the livery at the last minute. At first, I went with the uh, racing one. The one that came with it stock after the missions. Mm, right. Because it does look kind of good, but there was just a bit too much black around the back half for me. So yeah. I did end up changing it to this one. And before I get roasted, I forgot to leave the sun strip or I forgot to take off the sun strip. Uh, so that's there. But I do think it looks nice with just, just a little bit of white there with mm -hmm. a little I, yeah, bit of contrast. I, I, I think I think it kind of works. It yeah. Works. It's not too terrible. Yeah. And then I went for some big aggressive bumpers, but not the very last one for the front one, because it was just a little too much for what I wanted. Mm -hmm. right. I wanted to make it kind of like a mini track car, almost like a like Ferrari FXX kind of thing. I, I got yeah, kind of I, that vibe in the I, front I, especially. I, yeah, I definitely know what you're saying. Yeah. And then I went with a black secondary color. I think it was a anthracite or a carbon black, and I did that for the hood. And it's on the roof too, so that's good. It's kind of like a two-tone black, so you can see the difference between the livery and the secondary there. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay. Yeah, and then I, I went yeah. with some hyper-fresh rims, mm -hmm. which have a little bit of red on that center cap thing. I think that's what it's called. Mm -hmm. And the brake oh, yeah. calipers, so that matches really nice. Yeah. And then it kind of flows back in with the tail light, I guess, as well, which oh, yeah. also match with the red I chose for the rear bumper back there. So is that a red nice. neon? It is a red neon, yeah. That's sick. Yeah. Nice. nice. Very menacing build. I'm actually, um, I was looking at the hyper fresh rims as well, just cause like I'm a fan of those and I think they look good on a lot of vehicles. I couldn't pull it off with this spoiler, but I think they look really good with the one that you chose with this like, mm. I don't know. It just I kind of like saying, pulls yeah. the car oh, yes, back this more. this spoiler. I love this spoiler so much. It's very like, tilted down too it's super high downforce looking mm -hmm. i i love this spoiler because from the front of the car it looks like it's attached i wish yeah. i wish to god that it was attached on the two sides but it's it, unfortunately it's oh. not but if you look at the car from the from the front um it, it looks like it's attached which i do like a lot so. oh i see yeah so it's i like I, three mounts kind of thing yeah like three mounts exactly yeah, that would make it look super nice yeah i wish that it had the, but it does look good sense. either way yeah. This car reminds me a lot of the uh, Itali GTB, is that it? The really old one? The Progen Itali GTB? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I can see that. I like your build though. Yeah, very, yeah, very menacing. You. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Nice. Very good. On Thank to Harmon. Okay, well, Harmon. 
I, uh, I, there's, there's a lot that went on with my, uh, with my customization of mm. this flare. Um, anyways, I went for a do yellow for the primary and for the secondary color, I went with a, uh, with a black to change up the roof color because I wanted the roof color to kind of match up with the, uh, with the spoiler option that I chose, which was the same one as, uh, as Mr. Twingo, except I went plastic and his is black, I think. For which um, option? Sorry. For the spoiler. For the spoiler. Spoiler, spoiler, gotcha. Yeah, the spoiler. Um, and the reason that I did the spoiler in plastic rather than uh, the secondary color is because it matches up with the uh, with the front bumper that I chose, which is the plastic one of the uh, like the super aggressive racing bumper. Mm -hmm. uh, so I wanted to match that up with something because um, I believe that on the back of the car uh, that this is carbon fiber. Yes, it is. The big diffuser is carbon fiber. Uh, mm -hmm. So I matched up the skirts with that, and then with the uh, with the mirrors as well. So there's a, there's a couple carbon things that match. There's a couple plastic things that match, and then they kind of blend in decently well with the roof, I would say. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's kind of what I went for. Uh, I went for the same uh, side skirts that you guys went for as well. I think <laughs> these ones look really good. Mm -hmm. um, very very nice. And then I did uh, I did the cheetah carbon R's. Uh, for my rims and i tried to match up the uh, the color as best i could with the yellow that's on the car as well so i think that it looks decent um the only thing that i maybe would have changed but i didn't really like the look of it on on this car personally is what uh, is what twingo went for on his uh, on his front there uh, like the hood thing or whatever the trunk the trunk lid um, maybe would have done that in my secondary color uh, but you know I, I think it looks pretty good I'm happy with it then for the inside I believe that I went for a stone silver uh, for the interior color so okay yeah. I, mm -hmm. I think for the uh, the, the hood or the, the trunk I think yeah. it's it's good that you didn't do it I think uh, Twingo's just works really well because there's so there's much so, like yeah, it's a really so good much. transition into yes. this because he did uh, the, the back half as like the black livery but I just think it looks yeah. very like rhinoceros like yeah and he was able to avoid that yeah it just it just it would stick out too much if I yeah did it, so yeah yeah i avoided that and uh, i do want to say mad respect for using do yellow because i think it's a hard color to pull off but i think oh, you yeah. did a good job on it i i think this uh i think i think this works i don't know i really like it yeah i'm very very happy with that with how my build has turned out that's for sure good very nice wicked, <laughs> wicked. all right so okay. uh it's roasting time, yeah. Yeah, okay. You guys, time. You, you guys both used sun strips. I think, I think Kai can good. get away with it. Twingo can get away with it. He literally but said he wished he took pass. it off. It, it, he, he, he can get a pass for it. Your car, I just, there's nothing else that's racy about this car other than your spoiler. And you picked the wrong spoiler, by the way. Yeah, just to hop to on that. that train without any other aggressive kind of race style things besides the canards i mean yeah, they, I they look good options but it doesn't really fit in my eyes with the big spoiler i think i think your build would have looked a lot better if you had gone for the same spoiler that we used but done it in the in the secondary color maybe to get bleached brown on it i i checked it just doesn't look as good okay mm -hmm. i the black one uh looks the best and the the, the canards and like the sun strip wouldn't be able to stand out as much otherwise if i didn't go with the carbon spoiler or is this is this even it's carbon? plastic it's just plastic it's plastic l yeah. yeah plastic spoilers is that a thing in real it's, life i i guess i guess technically like carbon fiber is kind of plastic in a is way it usually like, a combination or i think it's an i think it's isotope of the two uh, yeah i think it is i think it's that's so carbon stupid. plastic i've heard it's, that before. this is this is another one of those cars it's like the vigoro uh, where it should have a carbon option for each of the options as well as a plastic option for each of the options so you don't have to pick and choose okay i gotta go plastic here but i have to go carbon here to right. kind of match with the plastic i know thing. i hate it's that. ugly i hate but, that too but I, especially because bro, this is literally an electric vehicle how are we gonna use plastic yeah plastic that's not environmental not environmentally friendly or was there yeah. a carbon option for <laughs> other spoilers no 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 it was oh, really? all plastic yeah mm. so brutal yeah absolutely hell. brutual um uh, but yeah anyway uh, i you see sigour concaves i think they work i don't think they work in white I no think they, they work in white they, it I looks think, the best in white i checked you can watch my video it looks the best in white i think black would have flipped N it doesn't there's nothing it just doesn't white though if, if, if black would have matched with the wing or yeah. if, was there is there a cream option for the wheels because that could have gone with the secondary and the, split and the you know i thought happened. about it but it adds an extra layer it's like 
It's like if you get a tiramisu, there's gonna be a layer of whipped cream in there. Oh, here's a tiramisu again. Tiramisu. That one won. So like, like can you really say anything? It's lazy though. Come on, you said it's that the about same arm customization. Yeah, it's right. not the same he customization. Did, he did say that. He did say that. It's he not did the did same customization. Okay, crazy. okay. You want to talk about the same customizations? What is this? This is the Thrax. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my god, this one is literally the Thrax customization. Red and black, crazy two-tone. So inspirational, Mr. Twingo. And then Harm None, yeah, I can't I can't really give you shit because Dew Yellow is a is a new color, but I will say this is like the Harm None classic build. You just throw on like a bright color, throw on cheetahs, and then highlight them, and then have carbon options, and it's just like it's good. Yeah. It's a seven out of ten. It's a seven out of ten template. Looks good as hell. What'd you say, Kyle? The you four, it, yeah, for the, the 300. So the three, the 300, 300 was library. Library. It was library. Oh, library. library. No, okay. Yeah, that's what I was like. I thought it was a Porsche. That's what I, I stored it in my memory. Actually. Um, yeah, you should have gotten black rooms. Trust me. I trust me. I know. No, tr no I, trust I, I no, checked. No, I, I checked because right black, black is really okay. good, but I, yeah, uh, I, I it I doesn't. See it with, no, I dude. Could, yeah, no, I could definitely see it. It's like someone took a in your tiramisu. Like, why do you? Bro, why is it's everything like dessert? Because desserts are good. Dessert, People like eating. Yeah, but You're like car. the one person that you doesn't eat like eating. Car? Yes, I f my car. Oh, <laughs> 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 Time to go. <laughs> <laughs> After that last comment. Oh, God, gee. I like uh, the consistency for Kai's car. Aside from the sunstrip, I think you should have gone with the power metal one. Cause that one's like red and black and it would just fit the theme and then the very the the only other thing i really have to say about yours is the um you have like the the trim in the back that's red but then the skirts and the primary or er, and the splitter in the front they don't want to trim well i did that to match with the headlights and the red other accents like the calipers and on the wheel center cap Argument i can see it's valid. just it's just inconsistent it's not and then Mr. Harmon, your splitter is just flat out fucking ugly, bro. You just <laughs> why did you pick that one? Why did you pick that no, one? The, the reason I picked it, if you'll allow me to talk, uh, no, the reason, the no reason talking. I picked it, the reason I picked it is be oops, oh, my bad, my bad. Put <laughs> <laughs> the strap. Um, the reason I picked it is because the front end of this car is definitely, uh, definitely very aggressive, and this spoiler, this splitter option. Or bumper option whatever you want to call it fits with the canards on this car extremely well because this is like a race car if you look at my rear diffuser as well it goes with it it's a race car and the reason that i didn't pick the huge spoilers because it looks terrible and i think that i think that it gets the uh the job done completely with this little spoiler uh, because it's still aggressive enough that it could be on a track car like this and when i was customizing it the car that I was thinking of was the Aston Martin Valkyrie and the Aston Martin Vulcan uh, AMR Pro, which is a uh, an Aston Martin race car, I believe, or I think it's a track car that you can buy. Um, and that's kind of what I uh, kind of what I based it off of, and I think it looks really good. I know it's a huge front bumper option, but it's a it's you know it's there with purpose. I think you should have gone with the bigger uh, spoiler option. Still, I think the car looks like Mega it Chin. Looks it looks like Me <laughs> Mega Chin from the Fairly Odd Parents. If you dude, no, yeah. No. Yes. No. Do you see how ridiculous your car looks with that huge? It looks on? beautiful. Okay, man. Yeah. I know. It's kind of got a similar build to like no, the dude, Pegasi long, no, Osiris. Bro, as long as she makes you happy, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're telling me. You're telling me, dog. And how are you gonna call me out on inconsistency with the white wheels when it's it's a lot closer to my other colors than a stone silver for your yeah, interior? It's for, it's Wait, for the what interior. is that? It's for the interior. What is that? It looks, it looks good. It's such a muted color that it works with Dew Yellow very well, I think. I think you could have gone with something. Cause, like, okay. you picked such an exotic color already. How are you going to, how are you going to, Because it you know, looks good. It works well with turn it. Turn the it other way. So well with it. No, no, it's no. Like, if you look at the seats, they've got some nice accenting on the seats. You can't really change the interior. You should have matched the exterior. I could have gone f***ing black, I guess. But, like, I didn't want to. It looks good. See? Yeah. Fuck like that beautiful down. beautiful it brings the car to Stone, life stone silver is a realistic color to have in a car like this I, 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 car I, would, I would literally if, if i was designing <laughs> and specking this car in real life i would probably put a stone silver interior in. i think That's it looks horrible. so good good thing you're a gta so youtuber and not an actual car designer <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry let me know if i'm going too hard I'm sorry. wait wait till i get the lambo <laughs>
Oh, I'm surprised you didn't pick the bunker that I picked with the extra color on the I Yeah, that is something that I was actually about to go in and, and change uh, when when Aaron came out. I was uh, going to go and put on the uh, the primary color, but it's stuck on the secondary, so I, I wish that I did do that. Uh, that was kind of the whole idea, was to match that up with the uh, with the rim like outline. But uh, Oh, yeah. Oh, well. I wish yeah, they had okay. some options for the skirts. Like to outline it with the same color as well. Yeah, that's those would those would really. Nice. Yeah, I think I agree with you when you say uh, they're really inconsistent with the options, like plastic, carbon, that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Well, and, and the thing that like actually really bugs me about this is why could we not have a roof like carbon option? Right. I was yeah. so like, this is perfect. It's the perfect shape. It's yeah, just it's like a perfect roof for a carbon. Oh my option, god, dude. No, yeah, it's. Yeah. Yeah. I also think they should have added a two tone livery like on the uh, entity MT. You know how yeah. you can like turn that like side dip black. Mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. looks really. Good. Um, last roast, Mason. Um, your your canards on the front are not parallel, but your back ones are, and I just think it looks funky. It, yeah, it's because the the one that's okay. Do you want me to explain this? I'll, I'll explain this. Sure. The one that's lower down is closer to the ground, which means that it's going to direct the air. It, or, sorry. Okay. Let me let me re, let me rephrase this. Mm -hmm. Push up the his one, glasses. The, the one that's Actually. the one that's lower there is at a is at a bigger angle uh, for air to hit, so it's gonna push the push the car into the ground uh, a lot more, and then it's also gonna push the air up to the bottom of the other one, which is uh, gonna uh, yeah some f you. Anyways. I I'm not I don't care how it works. I I understand how it works just visually. It looks stupid. I think it looks stupid. I do you know what? F you. I don't care. <laughs> I, I I like it. I like it. I think it looks tight. As long as it makes you happy, bro. <laughs> this guy is saying this with white ass fucking Segoy Kong caves. Mm -hmm. The viewers can see. Spoiler on here. Viewers can see. There's gotta be something else here. No one uses brown. I just think brown's such a nice. It's such a nice underrated color. Poop car. If your poop's Steam. looking like that. It's... <laughs> <laughs> Something's wrong. But Something's yeah. Wrong. <laughs> well, if it, if your poop has a huge spoiler like this on it, I would be really concerned. <laughs> If your poop has any spoiler on it, I would be concerned. Especially that one. Put okay. <laughs> in the comments down below. Make sure NPC loses this one for this abomination. He feels you threatened. Kidding? That's, that's why he's saying every this. Time. I do. Because it's true. It's, it's true. When was the last time you've been leagues ahead of me? It's so big. I, dude, I literally beat you five times in a row, like two weeks ago. <laughs> Am I three in a row right now for for victories? No, no, you lost today. Because you lost today. Oh, yeah, no, you're right. You're I right. think you were. I think you I was were, three votes off. That's tough. I think you were. I think you had one win, and then I think Kyle also had a win. No, I won. Guys, mm. make sure to vote in the comment below for yeah, who you yeah. won, which is definitely me and not NPC. Absolutely, <laughs> it's it's me, it's it's Twingo and I. Um, we are the uh, first and second place. Yeah. You guys are Twingo always you guys always bash my vehicle because you're threatened that I can think outside of the box. No, outside wait. of the box. This yeah. is yeah. literally last this week's is, vehicle. Yeah, this is <laughs> it's not. It's can not. Call your the brown. Can, the brown no, looks no, so no, good. No no no. no, 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 no. Just, just no balls. Call your Thrax right now. Okay, I want, I'll I want you to call your Thrax. <laughs> okay, I'll call my Thrax right now. If if uh, Kai also calls his Thrax. You want to do it? You want to do it? And then It'll Mason. On this car, though. It yeah, will. No, okay, no, okay. No, we we no, could no, do. We say take matter. take a good look. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's let me let me just. I'll, I'll close the door. I, I think it'll be funny. Close your door open. God, you don't know how to yeah, close the door. You. Jesus, bro. Okay, let's let's get a picture here of the two cars. Okay, and now, now you just call your cars and just line them up in the same spot. Let's see. Remember, guys, I lost the Thrax customization battle. Yeah, for good reason. God damn. No, I'm just kidding. That was tough that your Thrax looked Where the same. Where did I put it? Oh, I can't find it. <laughs> you, better, oh, you, better, you, 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 better, you better despawn your car. There, oh, is that what they call it? You have to despawn call my mechanic. Mm, beautiful Wait. vehicle. Oh wow, it looks exactly the same. <laughs> Would you look at that? Oh wow. I will say at least at least with this one you uh, went for some rims that uh, fit better with the color. I almost went with a I almost went with a dark brown rims on that one again. Yeah, I am gonna lie to you. This is like the same color scheme. This is bleached yeah, brown that's... with a 
What, Sandy Brown for the second? <laughs> <laughs> it's the same. It's totally different. What are you talking They're about? They're just, these are winning color schemes. Yeah, where's where's your good. winning vehicle, Harm None? Yeah, where's your Thrax? You have me what, color your Thrax? <laughs> what color is your Bugatti? Yeah, mine's gone. Um, but yeah, so anyways, you guys are creative. That's the bottom line. Until then, take care. Peace. <laughs> it's always me. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. Had to be done. Make sure to leave a vote in the comments down below for who you think won for you. For you. <laughs> That's gonna wrap it up for this customization. <laughs> All that's left is for you guys to vote down in the comments below. As always, I will pin comment in the comment section and you can drop that down and like the corresponding comment for who you think won this battle. This is my vehicle. This is Twinga's vehicle. And this is Hanna's vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. It's the it. same car. But anyways, drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Comment down below and let us know what you thought of our builds and what we should do for next customization battle. Go subscribe to Twingo and Harm Nine. I'll have their. Did you punch me with a grenade? No, I don't have a grenade. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Sorry about that. Go subscribe to Twingo oh, and Harm Nine. No. I'll have their channels linked in the description. Or maybe I won't, since uh, since I get griefed every single oh, time. No. I don't know if I should. Well, it's, if on I should be it's on fire. It's on fire. Subscribe to my channel if you guys have oh, to dude, oh, no. dude, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm an, and, uh, I'm an, I'm an electric. I'll driver. catch you guys sorry, in the next one. Oh, Peace. Well, oh my if god. You really, if, you, if you want to know the true reason why I picked this splitter, it's because it acts like a shovel. Okay, yeah, mm. yeah. That's exactly what it looks like. Lawnmower.